Researchers have unveiled the initial naturally occurring unconventional superconductor found in mineral form, marking a significant scientific breakthrough. Greetings everyone. Today we will be delving into an intriguing subject concerning the recent discovery made by scientists at Ames National Laboratory. They have successfully identified the first ever unconventional superconductor that shares a chemical composition found in nature. Interestingly, myosite, a mineral found in only four natural occurrences, has proven to exhibit superconducting properties when cultivated in a laboratory setting. Upon closer examination, the team uncovered that myosite displays characteristics akin to those observed in high temperature superconductors. To validate its superconducting behaviour, magnetic field penetration and defect introduction tests were conducted, yielding affirmative results. These significant findings contribute to the scientific community's understanding of this particular form of superconductivity, potentially paving the way for more sustainable and cost-effective advancements in superconductor-based technologies in the future. Without any further delay, let us now embark on our in-depth discussion. The phenomenon of superconductivity occurs when a material is able to conduct electricity without any energy loss whatsoever. Superconductors find practical use in various fields such as medical MRI machines, power cables and quantum computers. While conventional superconductors are thoroughly comprehended, they possess relatively low critical temperatures. The critical temperature represents the uppermost temperature at which a material can exhibit superconducting properties. During the 1980s, a remarkable find was made by scientists. The existence of unconventional superconductors which possess significantly higher critical temperatures. Ames lab scientist Ruslan Prozorov asserts that these materials are exclusively cultivated within laboratory settings. This revelation has resulted in a prevailing notion that unconventional superconductivity is not an inherent occurrence in nature. According to Prozorov, the search for natural superconductors poses a challenge due to the tendency of most superconducting metals and compounds to react with other elements, particularly oxygen. However, he highlighted the intriguing properties of myasite, RH17S15, including its intricate chemical composition. Prozorov noted that one might assume this mineral is artificially created through targeted exploration, deeming its existence in nature unlikely. Surprisingly, it does indeed occur naturally. A specialist in the field of physics and astronomy, Paul Canfield holds the esteemed position of distinguished professor at Iowa State University and also serves as a scientist at Ames Lab. His extensive knowledge lies in the areas of developing, uncovering, cultivating and analyzing unique crystalline substances. As part of this particular endeavor, Canfield successfully produced top-notch myosite crystals. Despite the fact that myosite is a mineral originally discovered near the Mias River in Chelyabinsk, Oblast, Russia, explained Canfield, it is a rare gem that typically does not form well-defined crystals. As part of a broader endeavor to uncover compounds that merge elements with exceedingly high melting points, such as RH, and elements that are highly volatile, like S, the cultivation of myosite crystals was undertaken. In contrast to the inherent properties of these individual elements, we have successfully harnessed the potential of their mixtures, enabling the growth of crystals at lower temperatures while minimizing vapor pressure, remarked Canfield. It's akin to stumbling upon a secret fishing spot teeming with plump, sizable fish. Within the RHS system, our exploration led to the discovery of three novel superconductors. Additionally, Ruslan's meticulous measurements unveiled the unconventional superconductivity exhibited by myosite. Prozorov's team is dedicated to employing cutting-edge methodologies in the examination of superconductors under extremely low temperatures. According to him, the substance must reach a frigid state of 50 millikelvins, equivalent to approximately minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit. To ascertain the characteristics of myasite's superconductivity, Prozorov and his colleagues employed three distinct examinations. The primary evaluation, known as the London Penetration Depth, gauges the extent to which a feeble magnetic field can infiltrate the surface of the superconductor. In conventional superconductors, this measurement remains relatively constant at low temperatures. Conversely, in unconventional superconductors, it exhibits a linear relationship with temperature. 
The results of this test unequivocally demonstrated that myocyte exhibits the behavior of an unconventional superconductor. The team also conducted an experiment involving the introduction of imperfections into the substance. Prozorov explained that this particular test has been a staple method for his team for the last 10 years. It entails subjecting the material to a barrage of high-energy electrons, which dislodges ions from their designated locations and consequently generates flaws within the crystal arrangement. This disruption has the potential to impact the material's critical temperature. Non-magnetic disorder does not affect conventional superconductors, resulting in negligible changes to the critical temperature. However, unconventional superconductors are highly susceptible to disorder, causing alterations or reductions in the critical temperature. This disorder also impacts the critical magnetic field of the material. In the case of myocyte, the research team observed that both the critical temperature and critical magnetic field exhibited the expected behavior seen in unconventional superconductors. Enhancing scientists' comprehension of the functioning of unconventional superconductors is achieved through thorough investigation. Prozorov emphasized the significance of this endeavor, stating that unraveling the underlying mechanisms of unconventional superconductivity is crucial for the development of economically viable applications for superconductors. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.